Hi friends, Allison here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the last day of Design With Me December Daily. I am working on my story for day 25 and I decided to create my own cut file to make this page. So in Cricut Design Space, if you don't remember when you watched me design this page, I found a Santa image and a bunch of different presents, different sizes and shapes, and I grouped them together and then welded them to make one complete image. And that is what I'm putting together right now. Some of it I cut out, putting the Santa Claus together, because actually um, some of the pieces, how they went together had me totally stumped. <laughs> So I ended up turning my camera off and figuring it out off camera. And once I had it straight in my brain, um, I turned the camera back on to continue filming. So some of Santa has already been put together. But the rest of it, as you can see, still needs to be put together. So right now I'm just working on the cuffs of his coat and then his hands they peek out from underneath the mint present that I was just kind of playing around with. That'll be going over top of those images once I have them glued in place. You can see me take it off and put it back on just to make sure I have my placement correct and proper. Once everything is in place, then I'll glue the pleasant present in place and then continue on with the rest of the cut file. It takes a little bit of finessing to get them in place, um, but I'm so happy with the end result. Santa looks so cute. I created this whole image and then put it together, and after I was done, I was snapping pictures of it for close-ups and whatever, and then I realized Santa did not look complete. And then I got to thinking back to the page, I can't remember what day it was, the page that I did of Santa sitting in the chair with his little um, canister of cookies. He had glasses. This Santa image does not have glasses. So I decided to go back, cut glasses, and then heat emboss them the same way I did in that other video um, so that it was cohesive. Um, if you want to see the video that I am referring to, you can go to the playlist. I'll have that linked in the description box down below. So you can see all of my December daily and design with me videos for this project. Um, but in the close ups at the end of this video, you'll see his glasses put on him. But for the duration of this part of the video, there isn't going to be any glasses and you won't see it in um, this video <laughs> at all. So there the present is put in place. The first present I should say. There's three other presents that I'm going to be adhering as well. Oh first of all though I'm going to mat some pattern paper behind this super cute little tag. It's going to be going on the present that Santa is carrying. And I just used some liquid glue to adhere those two parts together. And then I think I use a little, no, I use a tape runner, my ATG, to attach the take to the present. So now comes the rest of the presents. There are three others um, that are grouped together. This is the first one. They all kind of layer underneath and over top of each other. So I ended up having to lift some portions of Santa up and the present he's carrying in order for this gift to fit underneath. And then the next one that I put on um, goes behind this present that I'm putting together. And then the last one sits on top of it. You'll see it as I go, um, their placement and where they are put and, you know, stuff like that. All that good stuff. So I'm just using my ATG to adhere the presents to the silhouette. That's basically how I put this image together in Cricut Design Space. I muted all the extra 
pieces in each of these cut files so that all that was left were the silhouettes of each of the images. So the silhouette of Santa and then the three other presents, not the one that he was carrying. Then I attached or grouped and welded all of those images together. And once that was done, then I went back and unmuted all of those extra pieces and put them back in the places that I wanted them. I also changed the color as I was creating this page as well, colors I should say, so that I knew what colors I wanted to use by the time crafting came along. For me personally, it's just a time saving um, method that I use in my crafting. If I can decide what colors I want each of the elements to be when I'm creating a layout or a project, then there's no guesswork down the road when I'm ready to put it together. Everything is thought out. Everything has been drafted. The same goes with um, sketches too. And that's why I design each of my pages first. I'm basically creating a sketch for me personally to follow so that I'm not sitting for hours and hours on end trying to figure out placement and where I want things and making sure everything's balanced and having my triangle you know, the visual triangle kind of thing and stuff like that. Um, it's all just a time saving method for me. And it helps me in my crafting in the end. And it's actually helped bring the joy back into crafting. I've always struggled with um, using stickers and collections from different manufacturers because as I scrapbook, I'm a chronological scrapbooker except for December daily, <laughs> I have a hard time matching the collections and the stickers with what I am creating because the patterns are wrong or the colors are wrong or the stickers are too small or they're too big or, you know, what have you. I've always struggled with that part of creating. That's why I turned to my Cricut, especially after I got Cricut Access. Now I can design layouts that are specifically geared towards whatever picture or pictures I'm scrapbooking. I hope that makes sense. I'm totally off on a tangent <laughs> in this video, but I felt it was important to explain why I'm doing things this way and just kind of help you understand my thought process behind my creating. Um, but I can explain more of that later on. Back to today's page. The snowflake circle that I was working on right now is actually going to go on the back side of this page, as well as the picture and my journaling. I don't quite yet know how that's going to look because if the picture that I use ends up being, if I use ends up being um, vertical orientation, or like portrait orientation, um, it's not going to fit on the back of this cut file because it's not quite big enough to support a three by four picture. Uh, but if it's landscape, it'll work perfectly. So I'm waiting until I have my pictures printed to figure out what I'm going to do. If it is portrait, I'm just going to make it its own page and then include the title spot on the photo and the journaling will go back on go on the back of this cut file. I did cut this cut file just the silhouette a second time in white so that if I wanted to add my picture and journaling on the back of it you'd be able to see it because otherwise it would be black and it wouldn't show up. So at this point everything is finally assembled and put together and I decided to bling it up a little bit by adding stickles in different places around the cut file. So I started with Santa's hat. Um, so I'm doing the trim in white diamond stickles, I believe it's called, and the pom-pom on the top of his hat. And then instead of squirting a bunch of it out onto my all-purpose mat and then using a paintbrush to paint it on for the present, I just applied it directly to the ribbon on the present. Um, it's just a little quicker that way to do it. When I get to the gifts where the brown paper strips are, I pull out my gold, you can see the gold stickles right now, 
and I brush them on using a larger paintbrush. For most of my stickle applications, I use my smallest paintbrush. All my paintbrushes are from Close to My Heart. I'll make sure to link those down at the bottom in the description box below this video. And I also add some stickles to the Merry Christmas title as well. And with that, this page is done. I do have more close-ups coming up and still shots as well, so definitely stick around for those. And I invite you to keep joining me if you haven't done so, all, done so already and like and subscribe to my channel is what I was trying to say. Subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss any videos from me in the future. Even though I am done with Design With Me December daily, I am going to continue Design With Me uh, process videos as well as scrapbook process videos as well but they will be separate videos and not tied together like i did for this project here and i'm also thinking of adding um i'm new to cricut now what um videos as well so if you'd like to learn more about the cricut and how to use it definitely stick around and make sure you hit the subscribe button otherwise if you enjoyed this video please give me a like and a thumbs up Leave a comment to let me know you're here and I will see you again very, very soon with a new process video or design video. Bye guys!